New tonight, the city of Philadelphia takes action, clearing two homeless encampments and hoping to get those on the streets the help they need in the process. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff is live in Center City with more on that story. Alex? You know, this is a terribly difficult situation because on one side, as of tomorrow, there are those who say they have nowhere else to go. And then on the other side, residents who say that their neighborhoods have become a breeding ground for drug addiction. Every single day. Everyone at the intersection of Kensington and Lehigh Avenue cares. If your heart is troubled today, I have the antidote for the troubled heart. Residents who live here care about their streets and their safety. The we cannot they... walk through this area anymore. Those struggling with addiction care about their belongings and their space. It's just, it's just like putting a band-aid on a big wound. Very early Wednesday morning, a city pilot program will go into effect that targets at least two Kensington homeless encampments. 30 days ago, notices were posted warning individuals that as of May 30th, their belongings like tents and mattresses must be removed. I mean, yes, yeah, some of it's inconvenience, but some of the stuff I pay for. Alex has been living under this bridge for a month. Listen, I understand. Don't nobody want to see this every day. Don't nobody want to see people injecting and doing drugs and stuff like that. But you have to understand, not everybody are users under this bridge. Philadelphia police will enforce the closing of the encampments. And according to the city, any property left behind will be stored for retrieval for 30 days. With the program, the city plans to introduce a navigation center with an additional 40 beds, plus a mobile opioid addiction recovery resource to help the homeless and addicted transition to shelters. We need to get them into treatment. We need to get them into the care they need. We get, get them into low barrier housing and get them off the street so that we could help them. And I think that's what this pilot program is trying to do. No one we spoke with knew exactly where they were going to go next, but one woman who used to live among the tents urges others to seek out a shelter. I was staying down. And everything, you know what I mean? I think about the shelter is good. I want to be in the shelter. Again, this is just a pilot program and it will be assessed by an outside entity. Reporting live in Center City, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.